two years ago, we made a film at Fiddleford Mill Pond. We noticed a magnificent tree in the middle of the weir pool. In the Observer's Book of Trees, it is said to have said, there is a black poplar tree at the mill. The tree we saw was just part of the scene. We were not looking at particular trees. We had noticed the weir with steps for ducks, but the bark and leaves of the big tree were not of interest on that occasion. Thinking wistfully about the tree and the observer's book drew us to go back to Fiddleford again and take a closer look at the magnificent tree in the middle of Fiddleford Weirpool. To our surprise, it was a common all-garden willow. Well then, where is the other tree? Searching high and low, it could not be found. The day had been good, but no black poplar. Then, going back to the car, a man who said he lived nearby and was a member of the Woodland Trust, he said he knew the tree and said there was not one, but three. The directions he gave were good, but we got them wrong. Again, the black poplar eluded us, but I had a hunch and walked off in the distance to yonder set of trees. And yes, these were the ones, all old and split, with heart-shaped leaves, just as was said in the observer's book. Wind, endurance and time had created interesting, arty shapes. What is special about these trees? For a start, the black poplar appears to be so called, not by reason of any blackness of leaf or bark, but because of the absence of any white or grey down on the underside of the leaf. Its bark is grey and readily distinguished by the great swellings and nodules that mar the symmetry of the trunk. What are the uses of black poplar wood? Well, it is a fine textured wood, soft and almost white in colour. It is resistant to shock and is traditionally used for in the making of carts and also floorboards and clogs. It was also used to make matches. Today, black poplar timber is used to make artificial limbs, wine cases and pallets, shelving and toys. It was a long walk back to James, but the plan had come together in the end. I was happy, James was happy. I showed him some leaves that I'd brought back. It was James's birthday. I think the dog walker's dog knew that. It was a good day, we will remember. And it reminded me that sometimes the simple pleasures of life are the best.